Hi, welcome to day one of the Confident Mormon Woman 10 Day Challenge. I am so excited that you are here with us today. And I hope this will be a wonderful experience for you learning, growing, rediscovering, reigniting your passion for what you really want. And speaking of what you really want, that is the topic that we're going to discuss today is what do you really want? Think back when you were in junior high and high school and life was pretty much planned out for you every step of the way up until high school graduation. At that point, you had some decisions and some choices to make. Some of you may have chosen to go straight to college, some of them to a trade school. Some of you maybe just decided to work for a while and then go back to school. And there may be a few of you that went and got married. And whatever you chose at that time, it was a good choice for you at that time. And I want you to think back, but have you thought much about it since that time? Have you really thought about what you really want? So often in life, we plan that next step and then something happens. We don't think much about it in life just happens. And with the life just happening, sometimes we can get stuck in a rut and we go about our daily activities, whatever it may be, going to school, being a mom, we go through our, it just happens every day. It's almost like a repeat, repeat, repeat. And sometimes we don't even really think about it because it just kind of happens. And I want to issue you this thought today. What do you really want? Tony Robbins, a, a quote that came to me several years ago by Tony Robbins that really made a powerful impact in my life was one thing that he had said is more, most people spend more time planning their summer vacations and planning their life. And I first thought that is not true. And then I thought more about it and thought that really is true for a good majority of the people. We spend so much time planning one week in the summer of our vacation and yet sometimes we fail to plan our life. Now, sometimes we may plan our life and, and things happen differently because that is totally it, but that would be a little detour along the road. I wanna give you an example. Say you're driving from San Francisco, California, and you want to go to Orlando, Florida. Do you have any idea how many different roads could get you there? There would be thousands of roads, and yet you would have to decide what your purpose was. Is it to take a long scenic route, which that would be very possible? Is it to take the shortest, most direct route? Is it to take the fastest route? Which, what is important to you? But if you didn't decide you were gonna go to Orlando and you got in the car in San Francisco and you just went, you just, you just headed east, where would you get to? Well, you could get to anywhere from Little Machias, Maine, all the way down to the Florida Keys. If you didn't have a plan, if you didn't have a desire, if you hadn't figured out where you wanted to go, just as that analogy as a, on a road trip, it is the same applies to our own lives. If we do not take the time to discover what we want, at the end of our life, there's a good chance we're not gonna make it. If we don't aim for that, there's no way we're gonna make it because we haven't even discussed what we want. So I want to challenge you today to take some time and discover what you want. One of the great things that will help with that is you take, just get a notebook paper, write at the topic, what do I want? You know, what do I really, really want? And then go from there and just write and write. And sometimes it may be really a struggle to do that. And sometimes it may come very free flowing. And it doesn't matter if you're 19 or 99 or a little bit older. It doesn't matter. I also want to give you the, to let you know that it's never too late. One of the great quotes that I love in Lion King is when um, Simba's really struggling towards the end and he goes and, and um, Rafiki takes him and he goes and he says, like, let's go find your father. And he's like, my father is dead. He's like, no, your father is alive. And, and he goes to the, to the, um, body of water there. And after a little bit of time, Simba sees a reflection of his father and his father says to him, you are more than you have become. And, and that was a really powerful aha turning point moment for Simba to realize that he has so much more to do, that there is so much more purpose in his life than what he was doing to that point. So I want you also to know that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, it's not to overwhelm you, but to let you know there is so much more in store for you in the next millions of years of your life. And, and in, in sharing with that, 
you and sharing that with you. I also want you to know that it's never too late for anything. I recently read an article about cute Nola Oaks, who is 95 years old and just recently graduated from college in Kansas at 95. That is remarkable. It took her several years, but she did it. The other one was Henrietta Thompson, who ran a marathon at 92. And she didn't start running marathons until she was 76. It's never too early and it's never too late to do the things that you want to do. You can start building and learning and growing. If you don't know what you want, then you are not going to be able to get there. So my challenge, your homework assignment today is to get out some paper and write down what do you really want? Really spend some time thinking about that wherever you are. And it doesn't discount where you are if you're a busy working mom, a, a single working mom, if you're, you know, if you've got children at home, you're a stay-at-home mom, wherever you are, if you're a grandma, wherever you are, that's a great place to be. And yeah, discover what you really want. Because by doing that, you will have something to look forward to, to work towards. So that is your homework assignment today. Feel free to share your results with us. I am so excited that you were here with us today. Thank you for joining for day one. And I can't wait to hear about your results. And we'll look forward to talking with you again at day two. Have a great day.